Hello and welcome back everyone to Space Simulation Toolkit, which statistically is apparently your favorite thing to watch now according to YouTube, so good job to you guys and good job to the amazing developer of Space Simulation Toolkit for creating something just so darn cool. So, let's go through some features that I haven't shown you guys yet because they just get more and more insane as time goes on. Like, we've already done plate tectonics, we've already done, you know, evolving life, what possibly else could it do? Well, a lot. So, let's start out with something really awesome. If we go over into the scene section here, we can open up the Cosmos settings. And in the Cosmos settings, we can turn something on called Node Gravity. Node gravity gives every single particle its own gravitational field. Now, it's laggy. Even with a 4090, it, it can make it struggle a little bit with a lot of particles. But the possibilities, like look at this. It's crushing into itself. The center of this planet is actually getting A, heated and B, crushed because there's just a ton of material. It's got its own gravity. You can build realistic planets in this way. Let's go ahead and build a little asteroid. It's getting attracted to all of the nodes. This is insanity! Ugh, oh, I wonder if there's ways to optimize it as well, like having it create like one gravity node if they're connected, but I mean, look at that. That is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Like everything in this game is insane, but like things continue to get more insane. And yes, the, the performance with the node feature, the node gravity isn't quite as good, but guys, c come on. That's like what, simulating gravity for like thousands and thousands and thousands of different particles? That's, that's insanity. Absolute insanity. And insanity is going to be the theme of this video because some of you have pointed out that you can do things that I did not expect. So, like, apparently you can just make the values negative in the boxes. And, like, you don't know what I mean by that. What I mean by that is when you're checking off something like, oh, did I turn off? I did not turn off node gravity. Let me turn off node gravity real quick so it doesn't lag. When I create this uh, ball here, we have a gravity source in the center, which you can control the strength of. But what I didn't realize is things like this and even the sun temperature, you can set negative. So I can actually accelerate this outwards at a speed. And let's go ahead and build a giant metal box around this. Also, you can pause the simulation speed, which is really useful. I believe it is the animate step here, yeah. So if we set this to zero, I can actually now just build a box, whereas it would normally get attracted by the gravity and stuff. It would be really awesome if this were uh, bound to like spacebar so you could easily uh, pause. But something really nice is that I'm now in direct contact with the developer and they are, uh, I've given them a few suggestions on things. They're absolutely awesome. They've been listening to a ton of different suggestions from me and their fans and they're, they're doing a really good job. Um, and actually, if you want to go talk to them yourself, they're on Valor, the chat platform I'm developing. So you could go over to Valor, talk to the developer of this game, and let them know what you want to see. And then if you want to see more videos, you know what to do and go subscribe, because if you subscribe to me, you'll see all the videos on this game, because we're just going to keep going. All right, so now I'm going to get this gravity multiplier, and I'm going to set it negative. I've never done this before, so we'll see what the results are. All right, we're gonna set it so high. We're gonna set it to like negative 600. Great, and then we're gonna turn on the uh, animate step to slow motion. And it didn't do what I, no, it went back to positive. Why is it positive again? No, no, I just turned it really high positive. I didn't mean to do that. All right, whatever, let's, let's reverse it now. Fine, 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 fine. Let's go ahead. Here we go. Here, whoa, look, look at the part. Oh my God, that's insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is literally basically simulating dark matter now, uh, the expansion of the universe. It's really awesome to see. Look at that. It looks like just like a ring of fire. That is absolutely awesome. 
What happens if I just place? What if I spawn like some water on top of it? Oh, it's freezing and spreading out in just a massive circle. All right, so one of you suggested that I try to do a supernova. So what we have to do for that is a couple of things. Uh, first, we have to make a star. So a star is created when you have a lot of gravitational force pulling together a lot of, well, lighter elements that then undergo fusion. Now, when things are compressed in this game, it does generate heat, which gives us a good base to work off of. And we do have gravity. So let's go ahead and grab some air. And it looks like air isn't affected by gravity, but thankfully we can go into the material editor. So we're gonna click on one of these bits of air and we're just going to click on material air. Here's the material editor and we are going to turn the gravity up to now oh, a number i'll turn it quite high because we need a lot of gravity to happen for this to work so now they are actually being pulled into the center which is exactly what we want to have and but there isn't nearly enough air for it to collide and create heat so let's go ahead and choose air again and add more now the thing about this game is that you can handle quite a few particles, so might as well create quite a few particles. Um, and by quite a few, I mean quite a few particles. So let's create a lot of particles. And now we have a lot of air in a circle, kind of colliding with each other, but not really colliding with each other. We can do better. So let's go ahead and grab this gravity node here and let's go ahead and increase the multiplier so that it's more and more powerful. Now you can see it's really forcing the atoms together, like really forcing the atoms together. And they are crushing each other inwards. And how far can we push it? Oh, it's, 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 it's doing a little dance. All right, so we will hit a point where the game no longer allows it to go any faster because there is a cap. So we can go into the Cosmos settings and turn on gravity max velocity to allow it to go even further because yeah, everything is a setting in this game. And if we continue allowing it to go further, wow, this is getting very compressed, like incredibly compressed. I think we need to add more air. We've, we've compressed all of this into this one space, but I'm still not getting that heat that I'm looking for. I mean, it's heating up a tiny bit. All right, more air. Trying, trying my best. Uh, I think if I turn the animate step down, there we go. There we go, feed it. Feed it. We're feeding it a lot of fuel here. And hopefully we can get this to turn into a full-on star. That is the plan, at least. I mean, there there is a lot of force going. There's a lot happening in there. Maybe the air doesn't generate friction. I didn't even think about that. Let's see if there's a setting for that. Friction. Because I feel like it should have done something by now. Hmm. All right, let's try this again, but let's try it with sand, which I know is not what stars are made out of. Oh! Yes, sand gets very hot very quickly and also looks kind of trippy when you do this. Wee! All right, maybe we'll just make a sun out of sand. I mean, look at that, that looks really cool. It's getting like flung out and it actually does kind of look like a star. It's got a bunch of light coming out. All right, let's feed it more. Yeah, we're making the sun out of sand until I figure out how to do the material editor a little bit better. It actually looks fantastic. It really does look like a star. All right. So the request was that I make it go supernova. 
which sounds awesome. All right, so by turning down the gravitational force a little bit, it's allowing it to become more of a star. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. That looks awesome. I didn't, I didn't expect it to look this cool, but like this is absolutely fantastic. We can also use this cool tool, this spin tool, to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a spin. Believe it or not, although the gravity is so strong, I don't think my other tools are able to do much. Yeah. All right. So we have this beautiful, beautiful star now that we have built, and let's go ahead and make it go supernova. To do that, we're going to first pause the animation by hit it, turning it down to zero. And then we're going to turn the gravity negative because that's something you can do, apparently. Watch this. Now the gravitational pull is negative. And if we turn that up, all right. I want to be able to see how damaging this is in terms of like destructive ability. So we're gonna put a planet next to this. You're welcome. I know this is what you were all hoping for. So go ahead, give me a pat on the back in the comments for remembering to give you something to look at it hit. All right. So we're gonna have a planet over here, and then we're also going to just have a big ball of metal to see if a literal ball of metal can be damaged by this. And now we're gonna set the animation time step to one. Oh! <laughs> it's not even gonna hit it. It's not even gonna hit the planet because it literally. <laughs> oh my god, that is hilarious. That is literally hilarious. I didn't even think of that. Okay, uh, but this giant beam of stardust let's build a new planet oh man it did not go well okay new new planet uh and we'll get rid of the the anti-gravity so that it doesn't do the same thing again that's hilarious i did not expect that i did not expect that in any way you guys are like well he's saying that so he must have expected it Am I just using reverse psychology on all of you? You'll never know. You'll never know. All right, we're making a big planet for this. We're gonna push my GPU to its absolute limit because I want to see the results. And I know you guys wanna see the results. I know you're watching this because you saw Supernova on the title and now you wanna see a Supernova. All right, three, two, one. Here comes the collision. Oh, that, just ignore the fact that the force, there's no gravity to hold the planet to, oh my God. It's absolutely obliterating it at a molecular level. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at the amount of damage. Oh man. Okay, that is hilarious. Okay, let's do this one more time. One more time, but this time we're gonna have the planet held together by gravity. It's okay, we got plenty of area here. And the great thing about this game is if it if it runs on your computer, which definitely try the demo to make sure that it works. But if you do have a computer that this game supports and you have a graphics card that it supports, the scaling, it's able, the, the performance scales just so well. Okay, so let's go ahead and build a new planet here. Build a new planet here. Just, yeah, just casual millions of new particles. Uh, and then let's go ahead and add some dirt, add some bio. And then we're going to go ahead and give it some gravity to hold it together. There we go. So this one shouldn't like explode. Or at least shouldn't as much. Yeah, okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. This is actually a good test for the I mean if it was closer to the supernova, it would have been more effective. But here it goes. Three, two, one, 
and it's absolutely eating it. It is absolutely eating the supernova. This is insane. Oh, look at the temperature. It's just immediately vaporizing the planet. And like the stream of supernova particles is not stopping. And it's even worse because the gravity is helping to pull it in a little bit. Oh man. Oh no, no, no. Oh, the planet's been literally half of it's been melted down into goop. The other half, I mean, there may be a dude surviving over here. He hasn't noticed yet. Wow. 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 Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. All right, guys. This has been a pleasure. And as always, go check out Valor if you want to talk to me or the guy who made this game. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Tell me in the comments down below what you want to see me do next in this game. Because the sky is the limit. And we should have some updates coming soon. Bye.